So you want to use Zwift, but you don't want to spend a couple of hundred pounds on a budget setup. Well, I've got mine working for less than 50 pounds, and I will show you how. Stay tuned. So this video assumes you already have a bike and that you've got a phone that can handle Bluetooth. Now what we're going to need is a turbo trainer, a speed and cadence sensor and a heart rate monitor. So first of all, let's take a look at the turbo trainer. Now for this budget, turbo trainers were obviously talking second hand. And if you look around on eBay or on a local free ad sites, you will find them for around £20 or less. They don't need to be anything special or clever. They just need to be able to provide some resistance. Now there is a list of calibrated and compatible models within Zwift that you can have a browse of if you install the app. Um, I've put a list in the description below of all the models that are calibrated for Zwift, but there is a, um, an unlisted option there where you can uh, literally plug in any turbo trainer and it will guess the values and you, you'll just have to adjust your workout to, uh, to suit the resistance that you've got. So that's turbo trainer, let's say 20 pounds. I got mine for free. Now, speed and cadence sensor. If you buy the Garmin ones, you're looking at around about 30 pounds for the cadence and 30 pounds for the speed. You can get combined ones for about 20 to 40 pounds. But the one I've managed to find is from Aldi and it was only 10 pounds including delivery. Now it's not the prettiest thing, but uh, I personally don't intend to keep it on the bike other than when I'm using Zwift. I'm just using Zwift as a recovery from injury at the minute. So I'll only be using it for about another month. And all you do is attach the magnet to the cranks and a magnet on the wheel put the device on the chain stay and it senses everything and sends it to your phone over Bluetooth. Now onto the heart rate monitors. Now there's plenty of good chest heart rate monitors for around about 35, 40 pounds. There's the Wahoo um, and official Garmin ones, Polar ones. But what I've managed to find is this one here which is Bluetooth and Ant Plus, so it will talk to my Garmin device, as well as uh, through Zwift. I'm gonna use a swear word here, I'm afraid. I bought it from Halfords, and it is only 20 pounds. And as, as uh, with the speed and cadence sensor, I've been using it for around about a month, and it has worked absolutely fine. So let's now see this setup in action. Okay, so we have our sensors on the bike. I'm wearing my heart rate monitor, so on my mobile phone, I'm launching Zwift, signing in, and it should detect all the sensors. If it doesn't, just spin the pedals and it will pick up the sensors. So we picked up heart rate, speed, and cadence. Now at that top one, speed sensor, see there's also a picture of a turbo trainer. If I go to click on that one, and speed sensor, tap to pair, um, you can set your tire size at the top, and press OK. Now at the minute it's set to not listed, so that's assuming I'm using a turbo trainer that's not on their approved list, their calibrated list, which mine is actually a giant cyclotron mag, So, and it tells you what setting to use to get their calibration as well. So if you can, get one that's on their approved list in the description uh, is the list of all of these. Um, Zwift don't seem to publish the list themselves on any website, it's only in the app. But if you look in the description, I've put the list down there, so I hope that helps. And then we're ready to go. So we get to choose whether we want to do uh, Watopia, which is their, uh, the Zwift world, or the, the world of the day. Today it's London. You get to choose your, your routes. Let's do that for now. Uh, if you want to do a workout, do training, and there's all different types of workouts of, uh, you know, how much output you want to do, and you can slide up and down that slider based on how fit you are to adjust the workout. Okay, let me click ride, and it goes to the Zwift world.
Okay, then all you start doing is to start pedaling. And you see it's detecting that I'm doing uh, the big number in the middle is my watts. To the right of that is my heart rate of 90. And then 63 is my pedal cadence. And it is as simple as that. We're up and running for less than 50 pounds. Right, so my total spend was 30 pounds. Now, if you manage to get it cheaper than me, please let me know in the comments. Or if you've got any questions or suggestions for a cheaper setup, comment below. Please like and share, and I uh, hope you found this video useful. Bye -bye.